welcome to Lion Hermit Crab Educational Center. My name is Jessica and today I'm going to show you how to measure your crab shells so you can purchase the proper size for them and the proper shells. Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to size your shells for your hermit crabs so that you can place an order for proper sizes for your hermit crabs and of course the proper shells. So let's go over some typical uh, popular hermit crab shells um, for purple pinchers. Now, purple pinchers typically like um, their favorites are turbo shells. These are turbo um, tapestry shells. So turbo shells are round opening shells. These are the ones that are most popular to our hermit crabs just because the way their abdomens fit inside these shells are more comfortable. So they are built differently. So our hermit crabs love these tapestry shells. Um, these are all natural. They're not painted. We want to make sure that we stay away from painted shells just because our hermit crabs do modify their shells. Um, and I'll show you on one of the shells that they do modify. So we want to make sure that they are not... Um, we're not offering any painted shells because if you can see, they do modify around their eye stalks so that um, the shell does not rub on their eyes. So they will pick at it. So we want to make sure that we're not offering anything painted because they will ingest it. So these are all natural shells. So like I mentioned, the turbo shells are a very big hit for purple pinchers. Also, a lot of my purple pinchers do like the Mexican turbos. Mexican turbos are round opening shells as well. They are much lighter shell is the reason why they do like them because they are light in weight. Um, so they're not heavy. Another light shell are the pearl shells. These pearl shells, um, not a lot of my crabs do like them, maybe because they are the lightest um, type of shell that you can um, purchase for purple pinchers or for hermit crabs. So um, it all depends on the crabs. Now, they also do like jade um, shells. These shells usually um, come in size. They have them in small sizes as well as big for jumbo crabs. Um, I do have jumbo crabs, so they will um, fit nicely in these shells. Um, they are a little heavy um, in weight, so a lot of smaller crabs, purple pinchers, will not pick them until they are much bigger. But these are all natural. Um, nothing is painted. These are um, a popular for larger crabs right along with um, the pearls that usually come big um, for purple pinchers. So these, you will find them in big sizes. I do have um, a jumbo that is currently in this two and a quarter, um, actually two and a half, if I am not mistaken. So two and a quarter is what this size is. Um, this is the current size of my biggest jumbo. So these, these, shells do, these shells do come in larger sizes. So these are um, a big hit for jumbo crabs. Now, another shell that um, purple pinchers do like are called green turbos. Green turbos are great. Um, they are also on the heavy side. Um, so not a lot of smaller crabs will take these shells because they are a little heavy. Now, um, a lot of, a lot of crabs that these are a little similar. These two are a little similar when it comes to the pattern. Um, but if you see on the inside, these are called gold mouths. Um, a lot of purple pinchers won't take them because they are gold mouths. I don't know why, but none of my purple pinchers, and I have about 30 purple pinchers, they won't take these shells. Just, I don't know if it's maybe the texture inside. 
they are still on the heavy side. So I, I really, I mean, it's always good to give them options no matter what. As long as they were offering the proper size for them, we should be able to give them different variety um, of shells so they have the option of what they want. There are some crabs that do like shells like this, so we want to make sure that we're offering all kinds of shells. Now, this is a Babylonian shell. Um, a lot of purple pinches do like them. They do come in bigger sizes. Um, they are de-opening shells, okay? If you see the difference between, um, these are tapestry shells, the tapestry turbo shells, and the Babylonian shells, they are, this is a de-opening, and this is a round O opening. Now, these are the shells that we typically um, would offer our hermit crabs. Um, aside from the gold mouth but they are round opening shells like i mentioned and it's always good to offer them variety so these are a favorite um for purple pinchers so those are something i would suggest that you purchase for your hermit crabs now there are other um opinions now the hermit crabs do um that we find sometimes that we purchase are inside um, Apple Murex shells. They're all types of Murex shells. Um, these shells usually, um, our, we will find our hermit crabs are in them because they don't have any other option. Um, if we offer them and this is all they have, they will take these shells because a hermit crab will take any shell before he is um, naked without a shell. Now a crab without a shell is vulnerable to, um, to injury um, to they are prey animals, so they their their first instinct is to take anything that they can to protect themselves. Um, their abdomens are very gentle and fragile, and any type of puncture wound or injury to their abdomen may result in death. So now these apple murex shells are um, either D openings or round openings. If you can see. Um, we will find some purple pinchers in these open these shells these murex shells because they will like the opening um sometimes because they are wider um and they fit comfortably but it's not something that is actually really favored by purple pinchers because of all the pointy um parts of the shell now we have a japanese snail shell these shells are more favored by exotic um, crabs, typically um, like, um, let's just say, um, violas, for example, or um, they do like these um, snail shells. They're not my favorite, but I do have two of them that are in these shells, um, and um, my biggest viola refuses to change into anything else but this so i mean it is a favorite of hers and also um the crouch the crown shell is what my juvenile um viola is in these are shells that we do not like to offer to our purple pinchers because of like i mentioned before their abdomens do not fit um comfortably in them um and they have um wide openings like um the the points and things like that so they won't actually take them each of these shells has a specific species that favor these shells like i mentioned these are two of my uh viola's favorite shells so this is what they're in now um right along with um a few other shells that i i don't have with me but now these shells are called moon shells this is something that we do not offer to our crab these are also snail shells that are not comfortable for our purple pinchers they are very very light in um in weight um but these are not favored by them um i do have a few um ecuadorian crabs that are currently in moon shells so like I mentioned, um, these 
are favored by certain exotic hermit crabs. Okay, so now I would like to show you how to measure your shells. Now this is um, very tricky depending on the type of shell you have. I'm going to show you two different options, things that work for me and what is my favorite. Um, one, you can use a regular ruler, a clear ruler, which is fantastic just because it's clear and you can see the sizes of the opening of the shell. Um, and then um, also um, a measuring tape, that's what I use. And right along with Hermit Harbor has a template where you can print out, you can laminate them, and you can cut out the circles and maybe leave a, a, a stick, a piece of um, that you can hold it so that you can properly measure them. Um, the dotted lines across the circles are just um, for the deep opening. So in that case, you will fold them in half. You will fold, fold the template in half and you will measure the, the size of the deep opening shell. So now this, sh this shell, when you're measuring uh, deep opening shells, you are measuring across, okay? From one end to the other end, right across. So when you're measuring that, you're going to measure either with a template like this, okay? or with your measuring tape like this. So you're going to measure from corner to corner, which is 1.6, so a little over one and a half, so 1.6. Now let's just say if your hermit crab is actually in a de-opening shell, and you want to order shells with um, round opening shells for them um, to, um, so that they can shake those instead of the D openings. Now, you are going to measure differently for that. So this, just say this is one that is coming off of your crab. You're going to be measuring from the top to the bottom, okay? This is how we properly measure the top to the bottom because the 1.6 is not going to equal the same as a round opening shell because they are different in diameters. So you're going to look for one of the templates. Let's start with the measuring tape. We're measuring from top to bottom, which is actually a one, uh, one inch opening, okay? So you're from top to bottom. So with the one inch opening, you're going to find the template, you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to put it in the middle, and it should fall right in the circle. That is actually a one opening shell. So you would, what, a one in, 1 1.6 across, you in a, the opening shell you're going to order a one inch opening round shells for the for this particular crab so this is how i measure our shells now for the d opening the o opening shells i'm sorry you're going to measure from corner across so it's going to measure right along the line so from here to here Okay, so this from here to here. Okay, now I'm going to use the template to see what is the size. And like I mentioned, you can put it over if you're not going to be cutting them. This is what I do. And it has to fall right into the circle. So now that would be a one and a half. Now, like I mentioned, with the measuring tape, again, you're measuring from one corner to the next, and it's exactly a one and a half, okay? So this is how we measure our shells. You want to make sure that you are measuring your shells um, correctly. Now, if you are ordering shells 
for your hermit crab that is currently wearing a shell and you don't know their size you want to make sure that you're doing this try to do this inside their their tanks hermit crabs have modified gills so we want to um minimize their um the humidity that they're um the low humidity they're being exposed to to avoid any gill damage so we want to make sure that we do this quickly make sure you have everything with you by the tank so that you can do a quick measurement right along with um, a notepad and you can write down the sizes you need um, for that particular crab to make it quicker for them so now this is pretty much it we do have the shell shop that are our approved sellers you can check them out on Etsy and right along with hermitharbor.com, you can check her out. She is who has this template to print, which is so convenient. Um, she is a great uh, seller as well. She has great options. If you ever want to order something and you don't see the sizes you need on her shop or on either shop, you can always mes message them through their shops and they will reach out to you and help you through there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you guys. If you guys continue to like the, the content that I bring to you every week, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel.